everybody, Deanna here. This is my son, Ethan. Today, we're gonna work on our RV. We have to get up on the roof and scrape and put some elastomeric on there and do some resealing. So we're gonna try to get that done in between rainstorms. It's been monsooning a lot here in Arizona and we really need to get this done before it starts seeping in. It's pretty cracked up there. Don't jab into the wood. You know, mm -hmm. just go straight across like this. We don't want to jab into the wood and make it worse. Just try to lightly get off the worst of it. Go. Yeah, like shh, 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 very. Like this. Yeah, like not this? a jabbing into the wood. Just a straight. Line. It'll hold you. You want me to try and get up? Yeah, get over here. Go over here to the middle. Yeah, crawl, don't walk. Yeah. See, you can do it. And then just stay towards the middle. Always keep your body in the middle. So there's no chance of you falling off. Okay, I'm right here. Okay, does it feel soft right there? Soft. Where you're at? Like, does it feel like you're sinking in? It feels pretty sturdy. Yeah. All right. Big pieces off, yeah. So this is what we're looking at here. It's pretty bumpy. And I'm going to get a little um, broom thing. Don't fall off while I'm gone. Oh, go All right, come on down. I don't know how to get down. You don't know how to get down? Um, come over here to the edge, crawl over to the edge. All right, and then grab onto those, yeah? And then swing your, kind of work your way to the side, your body, while you're still holding onto the this side? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then keep holding on and then just kind of switch your body around. There you go. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And then just maneuver your body. <laughs> there you go. You did it. Yay. First dismount. Good job. Have to go put some sunscreen on. Our sunscreen on now. You look cute in that hat, Ethan. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so we had a little issue with the air conditioner vent. It got a hole and a little crack in it. So we're going to attempt to fix it with this stuff. I don't know if you can read that roof seal tape which is like a turn a bond so we're gonna do that i'm gonna check and see how hot it is and if it's supposed to rain today i think we're gonna have to wrap it up for today because it is really hot sweat is pouring off of me it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning or something and it is 9 43 a.m it's supposed to be 100 Humidity is 60%. That's why it feels so miserable out here. It's normally like 10, 12%, if that. I just want to see what the chance of rain is, see if we can put this off until tomorrow and then get up really early and continue. All right, well, Ethan, it says it's not going to rain today. So maybe we should just get up early and continue on. How, how are you feeling? Fine. You're fine? All right, so I think we've done all that we can do for the day. I'm having a heat stroke and I got sunscreen in my eye and it's really hot. So we're going to take a break. We may come back out and hose it off and then we're going to let it dry overnight and then come out early in the morning and put the Elastomeric on. So we'll see you then. Hi everyone. 
So I'm actually in the RV right now, and I'm gonna have Ethan come out. We're going to disconnect the shore power, because I have shore power going on for the AC in the back. And we're gonna disconnect that, and then we have to move two ladders, and he's gonna help me, um, he's gonna guide me out, since I'm not very good at backing up, or even driving this thing yet, but I will be. I'm getting better all the time, every time I take it out for a little drive. So, I'm gonna back it out, move it over a little bit, so it's more in the middle of the driveway, so we can spray off the top, and then let that dry, so tomorrow we'll be able to uh, come out and paint in the morning before it gets too hot. We're gonna do it really really early So now hopefully you can see Now that it's all scraped Ethan did a great job He's gonna hose it off now Then we'll let it dry overnight Still no storm clouds, so that's good we're going to let it dry overnight, and then we're going to come back out early tomorrow morning and put the elastomeric on. So I sprayed a little bit. Ethan's doing the rest. It's actually making a little bit of the stuff we didn't get peel off. So we're going to have to get back up there and peel a few little bits off and then uh, rewash it a little bit. and call it good maybe broom it off a little bit so it dries better there's not a big puddle but it's going good so this is what we're using Henry Durabright elastomeric roof coating Ooh, we were just gonna stir it with the broom handle <laughs> we have to figure out how to get the lid open I think we need a screwdriver for that Looks like cake batter. Here we are starting to roll it. You can see it's making a wonderful difference already. Yay! Good job, Ethan. All right. It is looking so much better up here. We're almost done with the first coat. There's Ethan. And then I just kind of wanted to zoom in here so you can see our repair job. We fixed the cracked vent with the um, Eternabond-like tape. And well, Ethan fixed it. I just walked him through it. So now they're calling for a morning shower. We just got the first coat on. Um, hopefully that's not going to happen. It's very humid out again today, but we're uh, making progress. So it's exciting. So about a week has gone by. We've had several torrential downpours. <laughs> so it's a good thing we got the first coat on when we did. Uh, Russell's just mixing up the Henry's Elastomeric and we're, Ethan's on the roof and we're getting ready to put on coats two and three. All right, so we're doing the last coat on top of the RV. Ethan's up here already. How's it going? Good. Good. It's looking great. Three coats is pretty good, right? And then we just have to go around all the vents with the uh, lap sealant, but that shouldn't be too difficult. And then we'll be done. It looks so much better than it did. Doing a great job, Ethan.